Hey guys, EVP Man here, and in today's video, I'm gonna share with you tips and tricks that are gonna allow you to master multitasking on the Samsung Galaxy Fold 2 5G. Let's go ahead and check them out. Now, the very first tip I'm gonna share with you is how to enable app continuity. App continuity is gonna take the, whatever you have on your screen, the large screen, when you close your phone, it's also gonna to move to the cover screen. So watch this, I have right now YouTube, right? And I'm gonna fold my screen, and when I fold my screen, it comes to the front. Now, this does not happen by default, so this is how you turn it on. Now, to turn on app continuity, you're gonna basically swipe down, you're gonna go into settings, uh, we're gonna just do search, right? And we're gonna type in continue apps on cover screen. So you're gonna choose that, we're gonna choose this again, and then at the very bottom here, notice where it says continue apps on cover screen, you're gonna select this. And then you're gonna go through and find all the apps that you want as soon as you close the screen for them to continue in the front. You don't have to have this for all your apps. So one of the things that you could do is either slide down and select each one, or what you could do is use this little search bar to find the specific apps that you want to be able to continue. It's that simple. Now, one of the things that you may find when using the external screen, and this is gonna impact your multitasking ability, is the fact that the fonts may be a little bit too small because the screen is too narrow. Well, did you know that you could actually change the font size for only the outside screen to make it easier to read and just, just manage everything that's on that screen. So this is what you're gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna show you how this is gonna work. We're gonna tap the multitask here. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to open this in a split screen view so we can see the impact. And then we're gonna choose this one and we're gonna open it up um, in the bottom view. So these are gonna be the two. So I have these two going on side by side so we can see the impact of the text. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into display and I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna find where it says font size and style. Now when I go over here, notice the text and notice the font size. If I change this, notice how it changes and also how that changes. Notice how this changes and how that changes. So what you could do is you can change the font to the front screen only. It does not impact the other screen to make it easier to manage and use any kind of content on the cover screen. That's our next multitasking tip. Now we're gonna to get to the cool tips because we're gonna take advantage of all the multitasking capabilities that you have in the inside screen, which will blow your mind away. So first of all, we're gonna swipe on the side and you're gonna notice that I have two icons in some cases. And those two icons represent an app pair and it's gonna give you the ability to see two apps side by side. If I swipe over here, you'll notice that I have some that have three. So you can actually have up to three apps configured side by side, just like you see right here, and work on all of them simultaneously. They're all gonna be running at the same time. This one's alive, so if I were to move around and if I were to move this one, it's alive too. I also have these three dots here that basically gives me the ability to swap them if I'd like, right? And I could also change the size of how much real estate each one is taking. I can bring it back and do one of these things. And then the other thing I can do is I can actually add a third if I want. I could actually add four or five um, apps. Uh, there comes a point where you can only have so many in each one of these quadrants, but you could also have apps overlaid. I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna choose, um, let's go in and we're gonna choose a news app. And I'm gonna actually go back to where I was for a second, because I saw one that I want right here, this news app. And you'll notice how it popped up here in the bottom. So now I have three apps running simultaneously. And when I click here, what I could do is I can, again, change the order of things. You notice how it's just flipping around? So you can change the order. You could also then uh, still change the size if you'd like. But then what you could also do is say, I want to turn this into an app pair. Right? So you notice how it swapped over to the side and I had them here. But let's say, for example, you make the wrong app pairing and you wanna start from scratch. You just hit the key, the little pencil icon, and then you go over here and say, all right, this was a mistake. I didn't want these three. So you can choose that to get rid of it. And then you could see, is there anything else that you'd like to change? And if everything is still good, uh, you have to just go back and that app pair disappeared. Uh, you can also then, if you have three apps selected, I'm gonna choose these, you'll notice how it's opening uh, here. I have one note um, on the side, I have Twitter over here, and then I have YouTube on the side. So again, this is a powerhouse of features that you can use to just uh, work with different apps. Now, if you had PowerPoint, for example, and I think I may have an app pair with PowerPoint somewhere. Actually, I don't. But if you did have, an, uh, let's say, an app pair with PowerPoint and you brought PowerPoint in, you can actually drag and drop images into um, each one of these applications really easily. Let me show you how that works. So now I have PowerPoint open on the side and I went into my gallery and I still have my third application running. This is YouTube. 
and I'm working on a PowerPoint, for example. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag this, drop it over here, and now that image is inside my PowerPoint. That's the power of being able to work with multiple apps at the same time. Now, one other tip that I would highly recommend is actually uh, creating more of these side panel views. So if I go into this little cog right here and click on it, you have multiple options that you can work with. So you have right here, this is what I've been using right now, my apps view. You also have Smart Select, which I've enabled, and this is gonna allow you to do um, selection, square selections, round selections, just if you want to do some screenshots and capturing. You also have a compass, which comes in pretty handy, so I have that on there. But then if you want this also for shortcuts, let's say for, let's say for people, for example, so if you want to use it just like a shortcut list for phone calls, and then you also have for tasks on the side as well as you have for, for music. You could go to an app store and actually get many more. The whole point is that once you have that in, all you have to do is swipe, and you'll be able to go through each one of these just that easy. Now the next thing we're going to take advantage of to get the most in our multitasking abilities is flex mode. So flex mode works like this. So here I'm looking at a just a review that we just posted a couple seconds ago. This is the new 2020 One More True Wireless um, ANC earbuds with THX certification. And you'll notice how I'm looking at it this way. If I turn it this way, um, I have thumbnails now here and I have the video here. If I put it in flex mode, you'll notice how it changes now. Did that come up? Yeah, it did. You'll notice right here that you have this area nicely popped up with my video, and then I have um, you know, all of my comments on the bottom. So that gives you some really nice flexibility. A flex mode can be found in many different applications. So I would encourage you to go through the applications to see which ones have them. One other application that has it is also the camera. So here you see me in camera mode. I'm gonna go ahead and fold. And now what I am in now is in flex mode. So I have the camera pointing that way, and then I have a preview over here. Uh, what I could do is by double tapping here, I can switch things, right? And also what I could do is I can turn it on so that the viewfinder, so that the outside image, uh, if I'm taking a picture of someone, they could actually see what the picture looks like. So flex mode is a really powerful tool that's gonna enhance your multitasking capabilities. So guys, those were our tips and tricks to master multitasking for the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 2. We have more tips and tricks coming on the channel, so stay tuned, make sure you subscribe.